Have you ever wondered how boa constrictors strangle their prey? It's a fascinating spectacle of nature, and it all begins with the boa's strategic hunting approach. Boa constrictors are not your average predators, they are ambush hunters. They patiently lie in wait, perfectly camouflaged within their surroundings, for their unsuspecting prey to come within striking distance. What makes them such formidable hunters? The answer lies in their special characteristics. One look at a boa constrictor and you'll notice its muscular body. This isn't just for show. Every inch of their sinewy form is designed for the perfect constriction. Their strength allows them to exert immense pressure, enough to stop a beating heart. But that's not all. The boa's jaw structure is another marvel. Unlike ours, their jaws are not rigidly attached. This allows them to open wide and swallow prey larger than their head. Quite a feat, wouldn't you agree? Now that we've painted a picture of the boa constrictor's hunting prowess, let's delve into the details of how they strangle their prey. So, how exactly does a boa constrictor strangle its prey? The process is fascinating and surprisingly swift. Let's break it down. The first step is the initial grip. Here the boa constrictor uses its sharp hooked teeth to latch onto its prey. This is not an act of aggression or violence but merely a secure hold. The snake doesn't chew or tear, it simply holds on. Next, the boa begins to loop its muscular body around its prey, an action known as constriction. This is where the boa's true power lies. With an impressive strength that belies its slender form, the snake begins to squeeze, not violently or suddenly but gradually, steadily, with a patience that is almost eerie. The constriction process is not random, it is a carefully calculated sequence. The boa constrictor tightens its hold with every breath the prey exhales, preventing it from drawing a new breath. It's a slow, relentless pressure that increases incrementally leaving the prey increasingly deprived of oxygen. This lack of oxygen known as hypoxia is what eventually leads to the prey's demise. The boa constrictor doesn't break bones or cause physical trauma. Instead, it simply squeezes until the prey can no longer breathe. This method is not only efficient but also minimizes the risk of injury to the snake. It's important to understand that this is not a cruel or torturous process. It's quick often lasting only a few minutes and is considered one of the most humane ways a predator can kill its prey in the wild. The prey loses consciousness before it dies, sparing it unnecessary suffering. This process, from initial grip to final squeeze, is a finely honed skill, perfected over millions of years of evolution. It is a testament to the boa constrictor's place in the natural world, a predator perfectly adapted to its environment and its hunting style. In just a few moments the boa constrictor can suffocate its prey, a testament to its hunting efficiency. Following the strangulation the boa constrictor then faces the task of consuming its prey. This part of the process is just as fascinating as the hunt itself. The snake performs a feat that might seem impossible to us. It dislocates its jaw to swallow its prey whole. Yes you heard that right. The boa constrictor is capable of dislocating and then repositioning its jaw, allowing it to consume prey significantly larger than its head. But the marvel doesn't stop there. Once the boa constrictor has swallowed its meal, it can take several days or even weeks to fully digest it. This slow digestion process, along with the large size of the meals it consumes, means the snake doesn't need to eat frequently. In fact some boas can go for weeks or even months without a meal after consuming a large prey. So, the boa constrictor with its efficient hunting and consumption methods is a fascinating study in survival. The boa constrictor's method of strangulation is both a fascinating and effective survival strategy. This unique hunting technique used by these magnificent creatures is a testament to the intricacy of the natural world. Let's recap. Boa constrictors, in their quest for sustenance, use their muscular bodies to ensnare their prey, initiating a step-by-step -step process of constriction. With each exhalation of the prey, the snake tightens its grip, gradually causing the prey to succumb. This process, while seemingly cruel, is a swift and efficient means of ensuring the snake's survival. The aftermath is equally fascinating. Boa constrictors having no chewing capabilities, swallow their prey whole, using their flexible jaws and body to accommodate for the size of their meal. This process, while time-consuming, allows the snake to consume prey larger than its head, a truly remarkable feat. So, the next time you imagine a boa constrictor, remember the amazing process it employs to catch and consume its prey. It's a true testament to nature's ingenuity.